predicted the outcome of this one. It was Belgium's top referee, Armand Ancion, who ran the show, awarding Genk an early penalty after new signing Sadio Bar tripped Branko Strupar in the box. The Croatian was soon back on his feet to put the champions ahead. After 19 minutes, Yves Sunil's neat through ball found Tony Brodno for the equaliser. But just five minutes later, Genk were handed another penalty. Sunil punished for involuntary handball. Strupar making it two from the spot. Minutes later, it's 2 all. Bosnian Sedran Pelic with a fine solo goal. But just after the half hour, Westerlo were down to 10 men. Mark Chasen's dismissed for missing the ball and taking the man. But a minute before the break, Genk lost a man too. International midfielder Wilfried Delbroek dismissed for a second bookable offence. Westerlo went ahead immediately from the resulting free kick. Sadran Pelic with his second. Two minutes after the interval, Benoit Tarns was dismissed with a harsh second yellow to leave Westerlo with nine men. On 56 minutes, it was 4 2. Westerlo this time handed rather a generous spot kick and Tony Brodno converting. But 10 minutes later, it was 4-3. Genk awarded a penalty for an innocuous push. And Strupar getting a penalty hat-trick. After 72 minutes, Suleiman Ulari equalised with his close-range effort. And on 85, Genk regained the lead. Substitute Ngoi Sumbu getting his name on the score sheet with a cracker. Two minutes later, Genk were also reduced to nine men. Defender Chris Van Heem receiving his second yellow and marching orders. A minute later, it was level again. Another penalty. This time in Westerlo's favour. Brogno with his hat trick to make it five all. With four minutes on the clock, Genk thought they'd snatch the points. Fodor Gudjonsson burying the spilled free kick. But on 90 minutes, Westerlo were back on terms. Tony Brogno his fourth of the match. So, six all it finished in an unbelievable afternoon. But man of the match was surely referee Ancion.